Hi, in this video we're going to answer a question that is actually going to give us an important formula. So basically we're going to derive the formula for the number of permutations. So the question says, how many ways can we select r objects from a group of n distinct objects? Let's work it out. Solution. So we're trying to pick r objects and we have n objects total. So if we have n objects total, there are n ways to pick the first object. We've already taken an object out, so there's n minus one objects left. So there's n minus one ways to pick that second object. But we've taken now two objects out, and we started with n, so now there's n minus two ways to pick that third object. And then n minus three, et cetera, so times dot dot dot. And the reason we times is because the multiplication rule says in order to pick R of them, you, you just multiply the product, right? You find the product of the individual ways of picking the individual objects. So n, n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3 times dot 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 times. And then we're going to stop at n minus, okay, and then it's going to be r minus 1. Okay, that's what we're going to stop. And the reason is at this point, okay, uh, we haven't picked R objects yet, right? We haven't picked R of them yet before we write this down. So we have N minus R minus one objects left. So that's how many choices we have for that Rth object, right? This is how many ways we can pick that last object. Now, the really cool thing here is that you can write this in a more familiar way. So you, what you want to do is basically I guess you can call it completing the factorial. So I'm gonna write this again down here so we have some more room. So this is the cool part. So this is the same as n, n minus one, n minus two, n minus three, times dot, 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 times, n minus r minus one, there's a parentheses here. Okay, and then so what you want to do now is you want to finish this. So the next one, okay, notice here, this is one, two, three, r minus one, so if you follow the pattern, the next one's gonna be r. So I'm gonna write n minus r, n minus r plus one, okay, times dot, 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 times, and then three, two, one. Actually, there's a parenthesis here. There we go, because we're adding one. We gotta be careful, so n minus r, r plus one, over n minus r, n minus, r plus one times dot, 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 three, two, one. So all of this in the numerator is simply n factorial. And then down here, this is gonna be n minus r factorial. And this is that famous formula for the number of ways to arrange r objects from a group of n distinct objects. There's different notations for this. Some people write npr equals n factorial over n minus r factorial. Uh, also, you can see something like pnr or pnr. These are all notations that people often use to denote this expression. So again, let's just go through it one more time. You have n objects and you're trying to pick r. So you have to think about it. There's n ways to pick the first object. Once you've picked that first object, you have n minus one objects left. So there's n minus one ways to pick that second object. And then you have n minus two objects left. So there's n minus two ways to pick that third object. When you get here, you've already picked r minus one object, right? Before you write this down, you've already picked r minus one objects. So what do you have left? You have n minus r minus one objects left. So there's n minus r minus one ways to choose the rth object. And then what we did here is we basically completed the factorial. Be really careful, careful here, you notice I was rushing and I didn't put the parentheses. Look at the pattern, one, two, three, r minus one, r, r plus one, etc. And it goes all the way, it stops at one, right? Because you just go down until it stops, okay? Remember, these numbers are getting smaller, right? These numbers are getting smaller, they're just subtracting from the end. So this number is smaller than this one, this one is smaller, 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 all the way till you get to one. Then we put it on the bottom, so we basically multiplied by one in a clever way, right? All of this is equal to one. So that's allowed in mathematics, right? There's no issue there. The numerator is just n factorial by definition. The denominator is n minus r factorial, just by definition of factorial. That is the definition of factorial in the numerator. And there's different ways to write this. Uh, these are the different ways. 
I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there in the world. Good luck.